Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deirdre and today I created this look for you. I know I said I was going to stop doing fall type looks and go more towards summer, but somehow this happened. For this look I busted out my vintage palette by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I also tried the new Wet n Wild um, liquid lipstick, one of the ones from the Mermaid Collection. So if you want to see how I create this look, then please keep on watching. So normally I prime my eyes with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, but today I used Urban Decay's um, eyeshadow primer potion in the color Greed, just cause I haven't used it in a while and I thought, why not? And I'm going to play with my Makeup Addictions Cosmetics palette, the Vintage Collection, because I just, I love it and I never use it. So today I'm going to focus on it and show it some love. But before I do that, I'm gonna start off by applying some soft brown eyeshadow by MAC into the crease with a fluffy crease. And this is just gonna act as a transition color for all the other ones. In this palette, there is like a really, really like weird nude color. It's like a pinky peachy nude, but there's not really like a light brown transition color, so. And then next, I think I'm gonna go in with that color Dirty Brown. It's very interesting to me. I'm gonna apply that into the crease. is so interesting to me. I don't think I have anything like this or I've ever seen anything like this. And I'm kind of obsessed with it. Next going in with a little bit more of a tapered brush that's not as fluffy. I'm going to take the last color in the palette which is called Coco Love and we are going to apply that more in the crease, crease area. Not taking it up quite quite as high as we did with the Dirty Brown. And I kind of want this color really deep and dark and intense, so we're going to build it up. And as always, once you kind of get it looking how you want it, go back with that original brush and if you need to, add a little bit more color and diffuse out the edges of where those two colors meet so that you don't have any harsh lines. Now we're going to move on to the lid and we are going to apply the color Velvet Bronze. This color is so buttery and pigmented and just smooth and gorgeous. Basically everything you want in an eyeshadow. Probably also everything you want on a man. Next for highlight, we're gonna go in with that super light color called Custard Cream, and we are gonna apply this to the brow bone area. And then to add a little bit more color, I'm gonna take that color Cranberry Crush, and we're gonna apply that to the lower lash line as well. So I just feel like it's a little meh. So I'm gonna kick it up a notch and I'm gonna start off by adding some green to my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm gonna take that color Freak and I'm just gonna put that in the inner tear duct. And then I'm also gonna go in with my Stila Magnificent Metals in the color Golden Goddess. And I'm just going to apply some of this in the center of the eye. Just to give it a little, just a little something something. So I went ahead and applied my mascara and my eyeliner offline. I just used the brown eyeliner from Wet n Wild and then for the mascara I'm trying out this new L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and I gotta say I'm, I'm kind of liking it. I like it so much 
I don't think I'm gonna put on false lashes today. I think I'm just gonna keep the eye look like this and we're gonna move on to lips and highlight. So I have this new Wet n Wild highlight that I have never tried and it is in the color Precious Petals. And we are going to try this one on cheekbones because everybody seems to rave about this. I have had a different highlight. It was like a trio and I'm gonna tell you it fucking sucked so I hope that this one I mean it's nice I just don't know how I like the color for my skin tone. You're somebody who likes like pinkier like the rose gold or rose colored ones. This might be for you. I think it's a little too pink for me. And then also from Wet Wild, I have one of their new liquid lipsticks from the Mermaid Collection and this is in the color Coral Crown. And I'm going to try this one today. So when I saw this color applied on other people on YouTube, I thought it looked really awesome, but it looks really different on me. I don't know why they called it Coral Crown because there's absolutely nothing coral about this color in my opinion. It's very coppery or like bronzy. It kind of reminds me of this Milani color in the color Making Me Matte. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it because I just, I'm gonna do a compare because I feel like these are kind of the same and this is a brownie shade. But it's kind of the same. In person it looks much more noticeable. So I feel like if you already have this Milani color, you don't need this Wet n Wild color. Even though it's limited edition, it's pretty much the same. And it's definitely like it's definitely not coral by any means. So anyways, that is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe, and I will see you next time. I ain't been getting high. Well, maybe a little, baby, I don't wanna lie. I know when you text me, girl, I don't always reply. Well, you're not an angel either, you can't even fly. I know this.